Howdy y'all, Lone Star Riding here. This is part 16 of the Trailer Rebuild series. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. If y'all not seen part 1 through 15, there'll be a link up above or in the description and you can catch up before you watch this one. Today is July, Thursday, the 21st, the year 2020. I forgot to <laughs> record most of the up today. And uh, we did some cutting of some angle iron and stuff for the seats. I do have a time lapse of the gluing this C channel, but I don't have a, a time lapse of cutting all that stuff and working on the wind deflector. <laughs> Clamped all this. C channel here that I glued in which I thought I was recording I did not have enough glue for this this piece here and this piece so those are not glued in but this is here this is here and this is here and on each of these four corners I don't know what I'm gonna do about this corner is going to be these kind of semi triangle things that are going to be riveted in uh, on the top and they're not going to be on the bottom so far I don't think I have enough of them Can I I'm gonna put rivets in those to hold these things together plus the glue yeah so we're doing good I'm um, gonna be doing the doors tomorrow and then after that I'll be mounting all this stuff uh, I don't have enough C channel two inch by one inch C channel uh, they just didn't have it where I bought it. So if you have a piece, send it on down. <laughs> they sell them in 20 foot sections for $30, which is a good price, or 35 Yeah, somewhere around in there, uh, which is a good price. And I needed another 20 foot, and I don't have it. So I uh, don't know what I'm going to do about that because I'll be out of here at the end of the month. And I don't know if this video will be up before then or not. And this honeycomb material here this is the last piece I have and that will probably end up on the wind deflector uh, I still have to install the uh, fan and the solar battery be doing all that stuff next week or this week or something got a lot to do because I need to be out of uh, here and out of their hair <laughs> I know they say I'm low maintenance, but I really do appreciate Doug and Tracy uh, letting me work on this here and hosting me here with the room. Um, it's uh, it's awesome. Phenomenal. It's just great. I really do appreciate it, Doug and Tracy. Thank you very much. Anyway, all the painting's done. That's a good thing. And just a little bit of a touch-up stuff. Uh, but other than that... And of course the wind deflector not quite sure how I'm going to finish that up or what what I would like is just a little bubble across the top here a bubble and uh, just kind of like they have on the tractor trailers and stuff that uh, deflect the wind out that would be uh, probably perfect but they don't make them in this size I checked I asked I called I sent emails to several companies so anyhow all right I'll do better tomorrow on recording this stuff <laughs> see you tomorrow howdy y'all it's July Friday the 24th the year 2020 I don't know why I say the year 2020 so anyway got a bunch of stuff done today and not a bunch of stuff that wasn't completed so we're having um, tropical storm rains around here Anyway, I'm in the shop and let me show you what I've done so far Putting in the max fan. They shorted me uh, Three bolts and nuts, so I'm not sure what the deal was on that. I got 
the seat lid part almost done. I have, I'm going to have to readjust the uh, the length because it's too long. I don't know how I did that. Don't know. <laughs> I think I got my placements down for the uh, the batteries and the wiring. I started on it. That's why I started on the fan. That's where the battery's going to go. Yeah, it's real close to the axle. Uh, this is the outside plug. I'm going to put it probably right here, which means it'll come out right over there. Uh, my electrical stuff, I'm going to put over here on this wall. So, and that's where that seat, I'm finishing it up. And then I'll finish up the uh, lid for the bed part and the table. Got about a week to go when I have to get this done. Yeah, you heard that right. I got about a week to go to get this done. So, working hard at it. Let's say it's a boat that we're all in together that barely stays afloat while we all discuss the like I got a bad spot right here I'm gonna have to fill in other than that this, this hatch lids looking pretty good All right, let's go see how it's gonna look Too tight. I gotta figure something out here. It's too big. Dead gummit. Today is Saturday, July the 25th. I was working in the shop and it's about 9:30 this morning, and it just power just went off. Boom! Everything stopped. There was a light rain going on outside, nothing heavy, uh, but power went off. So I figured it was gonna come back on. It hasn't. Spoke with Doug. He's up around North Houston somewhere, picking up a saw or something. Anyway, uh, it's now 11.49, and he told me that probably the power would not be back on until around 2 or 3. <laughs> Slowing me down. <laughs> Come it. <laughs> anyway, power is off. And can't run power tools. Can't work in the dark, so uh, my phone is working. <laughs> I think I'll go take a nap. I need a little rest. How long till the break of dawn? How long till it is? All right, got the uh, controller put in. That is where I think I'm going to put the battery, I'm pretty sure. Over here is going to be the uh, fuse box, and then over here is going to be the uh, land line uh, charger, if I decide to charge it from plugging it into an AC. All right, got all this aluminum cut here to be put on the doors. The port for the wires coming in for the solar. I got the um, solar controller mounted and the hole started right there for the AC inlet. All right, I'm bushed for the day, so this is it. Stopping for the night. Oh man, it's killing me. Didn't video cutting the aluminum or anything or actually cutting those, the grooves in the the channels in this sheet didn't video any of that because that's all been videoed before with the panels so I spared y'all that 
I'll uh, hopefully have the doors mounted by tomorrow. Yeah, the doors. Yay! This is the uh, front door. Looks pretty good. Uh, better than I, I thought it was going to happen. So, good stuff. Good front door. All right, I got the uh, lower door all put together, glued, and riveted in. It's looking good. Today is Monday, July the 27th, 2020. Today started out lots and lots of rain. I broke a bit, a drill bit, after about an hour's worth of working and had no transportation to go get another drill bit. So I had to wait the rain out for about three hours. Three hours of wasted time I could have been working. But I still got a lot of stuff done today. I, after I went over to uh, Brazos, fittings which the gal there was really really nice and she was real patient with me and I got a whole bunch of screws for a whole bunch of things that need to be mounted also got the the drill bits there too they had them then I went over to the, I went over to the hardware store and got a clevis pin got three of them that are three inches long half an inch for the pulleys uh, this is the only clevis pin can you see that right there it's going to work for me because I'm going to put this clevis pin through the two inch wall. I'm going to have a couple of uh, washers in there. I got four of these. I only got three of these clevis pins because they were they only had three. They're going to have another one there for me tomorrow. But anyway, I'm probably going to mount these tomorrow. <laughs> That's a clevis pin. I never knew what they were called. I've got other various pulleys too, like this one here, which will be mounted under and then it'll get all that cable will get pulled towards the front with a electric winch motor and lift it up let it down the other exciting thing that happened today which i was hoping to have both doors mounted but i got the top door mounted which is very exciting to me because that means i'm getting closer and closer to the end let's take a look at this Okay, this is the upper shell. I have it just uh, leaning up on a couple of sawhorses there. But this is the door. I had the whole thing up. But this is the door. Yes. Little uh, 
shock right here. And when you lift it up, it'll just go up. Pretty cool, huh? Haven't figured out the latch yet, but I will. Uh, like I said, I'm excited. I got that done. <laughs> it's the little things that count. I got the rest of the bolts for the max fan and also for the solar going in, which is uh, good. And I'll have the solar probably mounted tomorrow too. And hopefully the other door. I have to get some two by one aluminum to for the door stops on that door and then mount it. But it didn't take that long to mount that door and I'm uh, real pleased how the door turned out. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm getting... right. Catch you uh, tomorrow on this. Howdy, y'all. Today is Tuesday, July the 28th, 2020. All right, got the door in on the uh, lower part of the shell. Just have to get the, uh, the back stops on them. Pretty happy with that. And yeah, we got a nice little rain going on today. Before we change our ways, how long till the break of dawn? put my power center right over there and uh, so that's why all this wiring and stuff is there I got my short power plug put in Understand. Okay. You want to trade? Sure. <laughs> I'm not turning that down. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to lift it up a little bit and then we're going to kind of angle it. I guess we can do that and we can do this. All right. And then that can get slid over. So, yeah. All right. So we're going to tilt it. And we want to go back toward you a little bit. Okay. Okay. Too much. Right about there. Yeah. Now we're going to tilt it. Yeah. Need to come just a tad this way. All right. All right. Okay. Now what do I need to do? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Slide it. Hang on, I want to put my corner piece in. Can you put your corner piece on, Rex? Yeah. Okay. Now we can slide forward some. Okay, sliding off that in there. Alright, got some more slide. Okay. How are we doing over here? I'm doing fine over here. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> uh, no, it's not on top yet. It's just getting ready to. We've got some 2 by 4s setting up at the top. Getting ready for the cabling system and some other stuff on it. Yes. So I'm getting really close to being done. This is awesome. I'm getting excited. Looks really tall when it's sitting there. It ain't going to be that tall. Oh, and I got the pulley wheels in on the top here. Now I got to get the ones done down below. And then I'll start doing cabling. Yeah. You can tell I'm getting excited. Yes. Oh, uh, my little 
charging station, I, uh, I painted the shelf, so that's going to be going in there. Uh, reusing that, I've tried to reuse as much as possible. That power, the shore power is being reused and the battery charger inside. All the solar is going to be reused. And hopefully the fenders will get mounted tomorrow. And I got to, uh, here we go, uh, finish up the ceiling fan, the wiring on it. And that's the wiring coming down from against the wall over there for the uh, solar panel. All right, I'll check in with you tomorrow. I know it's getting very, very close to the end of the month. I get there. I get there. Kind of semi triangle things that are going to be riveted in. And they're only going to be riveted in. Riveted, riveted, it. Can I say riveted, it? Riveted, it, did, 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 riveted. Today is just. Today is Saturday. Just got a notice on my phone. Let's try this. <laughs> <laughs> Too many interruptions. Howdy, y'all. Today is Monday. I forgot what the day is. The 27th. It is Monday. <laughs> Let's start over. And got some, uh, what are those things called? <laughs> Do I have a piece of paper here? Yeah, I got a piece of paper here. Clevis. Catch y'all on the road tomorrow to this. Something like that. Up and down.